There's a time that we are born, which we have no control over. And there's a time we're going to go out of this world, which we also have no control over. So when you have those two things in perspective, everything else kind of falls into the category of God, whatever I do, let it be at the right time that you have proposed it for it to happen. So hello Limp Primpers, welcome back to another episode of Nara DJ's Limp Primp. It's the Limp section of this channel, the Living in Peace section, where I talk about anything about peaceful living. My name is Lara DG. If you're watching for the first time, I'm a Nigerian-American lifestyle vlogger who loves living a peaceful life. And I love talking about situations we might find ourselves in that need peaceful endings. Today's topic is all about timing. You know, the right timing. You know, the right time for everything. You know, I'm a Christian. I believe in the right time for everything. There's a right time for everything. Sometimes you can do something and it's and it's something that's done at the wrong time and it can cause a whole lot of issues when it's done at the wrong time but then you can do the right thing at the right time my dad always talks about this when i was growing up like this is the wrong thing for what you're doing this is the wrong thing for what you're doing it's sunday you're going to church and then you're washing your your sneakers that's for school on monday he'll tell you this is the wrong thing you're doing and that's and this is the wrong time you're doing it so you always have to figure out, you know, make decisions based on doing the right thing and doing it at the right time. You know, that's one aspect of living a peaceful life. Another aspect of living a peaceful life spiritually is that you pray that God will answer your prayers at the right time, right? The right time where the most positive impact can be felt about what it is you're trying to do so i believe you know at my age now i feel like i could have done a lot of things by this age as human as we are we are always beating ourselves up for things we should have done we could have done and things we would have done and you know i always try to check myself um by remembering things that i've learned along the way about the right time for everything there's a time that we are born, which we have no control over. And there's a time we're going to go out of this world, which we also have no control over. So when you have those two things in perspective, everything else kind of falls into the category of God, whatever I do, let it be at the right time that you have proposed it for it to happen. This is the age of social media where everything is in your face. You see someone has two, three houses. You see someone has two, three cars. You see someone has four or five children and you don't have any and you're looking like oh my god when is it going to be my turn when am i going to achieve this you know someone has you know degrees multiple degrees and you're looking and you're comparing yourself and you know like i always say in my videos these videos are for me but if you can get one or two lessons from it as well then i'm very happy so at this time of my life, there are some times when I think, oh my goodness, I should have achieved this by this age. Even though I'm thinking like, I really don't want to go back to school. I really don't want to be studying for exams at this stage of my life. Like, trust me, um, at this point, I just want to focus on my kids, take care of them, make sure that they are good adults in the, in the society. That's my main goal right now. So I feel like I'm at, the, at that age where priorities priorities and then you know i feel like my guardian angel is giving me a warning and checking me checking my thoughts like lara this life is not that type of race right this type is not that type of race you are not keeping up with the joneses whoever they are like run your own race i always talk about staying in my own lane i always talking about minding my own business in this context right you don't want to be looking at someone and then you want to copy or you want to overdo yourself this is not what living a peaceful life is all about living a peaceful life is staying true to yourself and staying in your lane and doing taking care of the talents god has given you and these are the things that i've learned i feel like my guardian angel has been telling me little by little like lara calm down calm down it's not that crazy life is not that hard life is not that crazy live your life as simple and as 
comfortable as you want don't go crazy don't don't go kill yourself right um you have a roof over your head you have food in your kitchen i mean there are definitely different type of personalities and how you guys are going to view this video because someone as a go-getter is going to do all they can to get that bag yes i'm all for it with my personality i know my personality is like no my personality is all about taking it easy my personality is about not necessarily not taking risks but taking calculated risk educated risks i have to take into consideration that i do have important things i have to think about before making big decisions as you're going through life especially with social media like i said in your face you know always remember in the back of your mind that god's time is the best right there's a time for everything there's going to be a time um where you're going to plant your seed and there's going to be a watering time there's going to be a time you know things don't just happen bam that's the the, the society now wants everything like now 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 society wants fast food living fast food living and fast food living is not is not going to give you the lasting happiness that you want it's going to be temporary and then you're going to want more and more and more until you until you mess up look at uh lil kim lil kim i mean i saw her picture and i'm like what happened you know so sometimes when you are trying to fast forward your life too many things can happen right so you want to take things nice and easy take it one step at a time don't go jumping you know when you're walking down the steps or you're when you're climbing up steps you want to rush you double up double up the steps and you know sometimes that can get you into trouble so this is a reminder for myself and hopefully for you as well um to kind of remind you and give you a check life is not that hard it's not that crazy take your time take your time while also taking the necessary steps to do what you have to do right so it's not about being lazy but taking the necessary steps praying to God that you're taking those steps at the right time where you're supposed to be taking them. So three things that might want to, um, that might want to delay you is number one, the biggest, biggest thing is fear, impatience, and lack of confidence. I feel like fear and confidence is my issue. I'm a very patient person, but you know, for you watching at home, maybe you're the type of person that's impatient. You want it quick, quick, quick. Trust me, you and every other person in this world right now, we all want everything quick quick we don't want to you know we don't want to waste time we just want it right now so fear is a definite big thing you know oh i'm scared of making this decision i'm scared of taking this risk i'm scared of and then before you know it you might have missed the opportunity that you need to um make that decision and actually make it or you know be successful in that area that you were focused in so for myself i know that fear is a big 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 issue for me and i'm definitely taking steps to um making sure that does not control my life forever so fear is number one number one that can make you miss that time you know that god's perfect god's timing but because you are a believer of christ and you believe that god doesn't even work with time sometimes right god i mean something that's supposed to take you maybe 10 years in god's time can take you one year as long as you believe and trust him so you want to make sure that fear is not going to be a factor that's holding you back and delaying you from making the right decisions at the right time so you always have to be in align with god's perfect timing right impatience impatience right impatience we want it right now we want it fast please don't let impatience rob you of the right time where you're supposed to make um, a decision right maybe you're supposed to make this decision in another three months but you want to rush you want to do it quick let's do it quick let's do it quick and you know this is where wisdom comes in god's wisdom knowledge and understanding can help you in making sure that you're making these decisions at the right time and not being impatient about taking those steps right and the last thing is lack of confidence which kind of all ties in the fear and impatience if you don't have the confidence you need to make certain decisions 
that's when fear comes in and then that's when sometimes you might want to rush things and then you know that can make you make bad decisions so let's say physically you know i always talk about six um things six uh under topics of peaceful living which is physical spiritual psychological academic financial and social or mental so those six things in the terms of physical you can make you can make mistakes in the timing let's say in the terms of losing weight for it for instance you want to be physically fit now you know physical physical fitness takes let's say six to nine months before you start seeing results so now you want to rush because you are impatient you are afraid so you know some people might be afraid oh my business is going to go down if i don't look a certain way that's the fear and then the impatience you want to rush so you go and get bbl you go and get book job so that you can look a certain way so that your business can sell right depending on the type of business you're selling of course and then lack of confidence so let's say if you were confident in your physical fitness in your physical um physique then fear is not going to come in then you wouldn't want to be impatient in taking action that maybe you shouldn't be taking in terms of psychological aspects of living a peaceful life if you are not confident a lot of things can creep into your mind let's say you're you know you're not confident you know in general then the fear a lot of fears can get attracted you know they can you know kind of draw to you lack of confidence can cause fear fear can cause impatience and then it becomes a whole cycle um so that's physical and psychological let's say uh financial financially Financially, if you're not confident or if you're not contented with what you have, then you'll be afraid. Oh my goodness, what's going to happen if I lose my money? What's going to happen if I lose my job? Um, I remember Steve Harvey was talking about, you know, some, uh, I think Steve Harvey and Will Smith, one or both of them actually talked about, you know, sometimes it's not good to have a backup plan. <laughs> you know, these people, some of these people, they believe in, they believe in certain principles about christianity right so sometimes it's not good to have a fallback uh a second plan because if you're going to fall then just fall because you know that god has got your back no matter what but because sometimes because of the fear in us we have a plan b we have plan c we have the second plan if the first plan doesn't work so now we have already given ourselves condition that plan a is not going to work and that was what they were guiding against like it's better to not have a plan B so that way you can focus on plan A head on and hit it until it works because when you have a plan B you're already setting yourself up for failure so in terms of financial you want to make sure that you're confident and contented with what you have and not be afraid of things that can come up because then you are now setting yourself up for failure or being impatient. Let's say it's going to take you 10 months to save $1,000. And now you want to rush, you want to rush. Other things are going to suffer. If you're rushing to, let's say, save that amount of money, other things are definitely going to suffer because you're definitely going to pull from other things to try to make that amount. Or you're impatient enough to go and steal or you are impatient enough to take out a credit card or a loan that you might not be able to pay comfortably so that's how i'm putting it into the financial aspect let's say academic aspect make sure you plan yourself out and all these things have to do with you know wisdom you need wisdom you need knowledge you need understanding you know sometimes if you know if you don't know something about something like now i'm researching about how to buy a house and you know i don't I'm not a real estate agent. I don't know anything about this. So of course I'm taking my time to make sure that I have the right information I need to buy a, a house, you know, with my husband to buy, make sure that we both have the right knowledge that we need so that at the end of the day, we're not going to be afraid. We're not going, that fear factor is not going to come in. Oh my goodness. What if we buy the wrong house? Oh my goodness. What, what if we make the wrong de decision? But once you have the right knowledge and you can apply it into making a very good decision. And at the end of the day, also while being patient enough to make the right decision, if you are impatient, then you can make the wrong decision and then fear comes in and lack of confidence comes in. And then the whole thing crumbles down. There's a time to build 
and there's a time for pulling down there's a time to live and there's a time to go home to the to the father so there's time for everything and to align with god's plan for yourself is going to be the best thing you ever do for yourself then the last thing is social social aspects just like you see other people succeeding you see other people doing it big your time is coming all right social aspects social media if you have to shut down social media so you're not looking at these things and then they are not giving you anxieties and fears that would be the best thing for you and always be grounded always be grounded don't let anybody intimidate you into making the wrong decisions don't let anybody um you know the, thing, the things you're seeing on social media don't let those things intimidate you into making hasty decisions on definitely big things about your life about relationships about jobs about money about finances about academics take your time while also making good time making um, good decisions while relying on God to help you pushing you in the right direction basically I think that's going to be it for the social professional aspects of living in peace Thank you so much for watching up until this time. If you have learned anything at all in regards to timing, there's a time for everything in all aspects of life to live in a peaceful life, then definitely leave a comment in the comment section. I would definitely love to hear from you. It's been a while since I've, you know, done a bit, um, since I've recorded a video and I'm so happy when I do um, this type of videos because what I do is I watch them over and over again. Sometimes, you know, sometimes the devil will just come. That that, that devil will just come and be like, why are you doing this? Nobody's watching your video. Stop doing these things. Why are, you, why are you even wasting your time? And then, you know, sometimes I give in and then I take time and I ruminate and I, and then time is going and then I watch my videos again and then it just gives me that energy to always want to keep on going. And you know, don't worry, even if the views are not coming in now, you know, your message is still there. Anytime someone needs it that, you know, when God directs people that need that information to this, you know, the information is always there. That's why I'm, you know, thankful for social media, thankful for YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and all those things. When used correctly, can definitely change people's lives, right? So thank you so much for being part of the people that's that's watching this and hopefully getting something valuable from this video and i hope this change changes your life no matter how small it is thank you so much once again um like i always say in all my videos let's love our neighbors as ourselves and remember to rest in peace we all need to be living in peace stay blessed you guys bye you see me in my next one you see me in my next one uh, uh, uh. see me in my next one you see me in my next one mm.